Hi, welcome back. We're on Lesson 5.5. Your exit ticket preview is that you will write a word with ness as a suffix, write a word with itty as a suffix, and write a word with ish as a suffix. Get ready with your paper so you can fill in your suffix chart. Today we will talk about three new suffixes, so buckle up. Our first new suffix is ness. Ness will come after a root word to change the meaning of that word. Ness means having a quality of. A good example of ness as a suffix is in the word fitness. Fitness means someone has the quality of being fit, just like Mrs. D when she goes to the gym to lift weights. When we add ness to the root word, the word changes from being a describing word to being a thing, from an adjective to a noun. Let's write what we know so far about the suffix ness. And as you can see, it says noun to remind us that it makes the word become a noun. Another good example of ness as a suffix is in the word smoothness. Smoothness means that something has the quality of being smooth. Just look at the smoothness of these rocks. Another example of ness as a suffix is in the word darkness. Darkness means having the quality of being dark. Now you think of a word that uses ness as a suffix to mean having the quality of. Pause your video to share this word with someone else. Just like ness, itty as a suffix means having the quality of. Adding itty to the end of a word turns that word into a noun. An example of itty as a suffix is in the word oddity. An oddity has the quality of being odd, like Mrs. D, who's just a little bit odd. Well, so odd, in fact, that she just referred to herself in the third person. What an oddity. Let's pause to write what we know so far about the suffix itty, which will make a word into a noun. Another example of itty as a suffix is in the word publicity. Sometimes when we add a suffix to change the meaning of a word, it also changes the pronunciation of that word. The hard C in public becomes soft in the word publicity. Publicity is when something has the quality of being public or known to the public. Another example of itty as a suffix is in the word electricity. Pikachu has electricity or the quality of being electric. Now you think of a word that uses itty as a suffix to mean having the quality of. Our third suffix for today is ish. Ish can also mean having the quality of, or it can also mean about. We add ish to a word to make it an adjective or describing word. An example of ish as a suffix is in the word greenish. If something is greenish, it has the quality of being green. Let's pause to write what we know so far about the suffix ish. An example of ish as a suffix is in the word selfish. If someone is selfish, they care about themselves or they are all about themselves, like this fellow who cares not about you as he laughs with his money. <laughs> Another example is the word feverish. If you are feeling feverish, you have the quality of having a fever. Now you think of a word that uses ish to mean either having the quality of or about. I hope you don't mind my childish humor, but the reality is that I really can't help my weirdness. Great job. Now you're ready for your exit ticket. First, what word has ness as a suffix? Then, what word has itty as a suffix? 
And last, what word has ish as a suffix? Check with your teacher to see if you've earned your point. If you did, give yourself that next tally mark in your score box. If you're following the suffix lessons in order, you may have earned your fifth tally mark just now. I hope that you came up with some cleverish words that were filled with awesomeness. I'll see you in the next lesson.